What? The little red haired girl's coming to see my review? Oh, I, I gotta hide. I got I gotta hide. It, is she gone? Did, did she leave? I, I can't see anything. Where? Where? where what? No! Oh, good grief. fooled myself, didn't I? Did the little red hair girl say it? Oh, good grief. Hey guys, the Black Critic Guy, and I'm here today to review the film, The Peanuts. So the Peanuts movie obviously centers around the group of little kids known as the Peanuts. Charlie Brown, Sally, Linus, Lucy, Schroeder, Franklin, Pin Pen, Marcy, Peppermint Patty, and a plethora of other kids as well. With the film mostly centering around the main character of the Peanuts, Charlie Brown, as he's trying to get the attention of the new girl on the block known simply as the little red haired girl. It's no secret to anybody that I'm a huge, huge fan of the Peanuts. I grew up watching their television specials and I enjoyed each and every one of them for what they're worth. The characters are always likable and I really relate to the main character of the series, Charlie Brown. I mean, he's basically the everyman. He has his high points, but mainly it focuses on his shortcomings, his failings, as you know, we all can relate to failure. We all have failed time and time again. That's the whole point of Charlie Brown as a character. So when I heard that they were finally getting a movie adaptation, I got really excited. And then I got really scared because it was Blue Sky Studios the same people that do Rio and Ice Age and just keep shooting out franchise after franchise. I, I got a little scared like, oh no, please don't ruin the peanuts. Please don't ruin the peanuts. And then I saw the first trailer and my mind was blown away. Holy crap. That was a great trailer. That first trailer alone captured the true essence that I've come to love about the Peanuts and sold me on the idea of watching this film and I just could not wait to see it. I got really, really excited. Not to mention how blown away I was with their use of 3D animation while also still keeping the traditional 2D Peanuts look. That looked freaking phenomenal and I applaud them for their hard work and attention to detail. And so the day has finally come to where I can see my favorite characters back on the big screen. And after seeing this film, all I gotta say is, it is so freaking adorable and I couldn't get enough of it. Guys, I was constantly smiling throughout this entire film. I loved it. Now I've touched upon the animation a little bit. It's still really good here in the film. The trailers did not lie to us. But another thing that I want to give them huge props for is their use of 2D animation. It was a really nice blend of 2D and 3D in the film. And I loved how they paid homage to the classic Schultz comic strip. I can truly tell that a lot of heart and care went into the animation. And it is without a doubt the best part of this film. Props to you guys. The humor in this film, from the visual gags to some of the things that the characters say, were on point. Recapturing that Peanuts magic that we have loved for so many years. It was hysterical. I was laughing out loud in so many different moments in this film. Personally, the jokes I found the funniest were the ones that always referenced the old television specials. Like you had Linus, he brings up the great pumpkin in one line, which made me laugh. You have some old bits like Snoopy kissing Lucy and she's like, oh, I got dog germs. My personal favorite though was their reference to War and Peace, which is a straight homage to my favorite Peanuts special, 
Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. The story being told is pretty simplistic, again, keeping to tradition, but it's also really entertaining just seeing Charlie Brown trying to get the attention of the little red-haired girl, but failing time and time again. And though it sometimes went against tradition, which did kind of irk me now and again, I still liked and appreciated the cinematic feel to the story. It made it feel much more larger than a regular television special, which makes a lot of sense. This is a movie after all. And a little fun fact for you guys, this film was actually written and produced by the son and grandson of the original creator of the Peanuts, Charles Schultz. They wanted to keep it within the family, which makes a whole lot of sense, and I like that they were really in control of this project. It just wouldn't feel the same if you didn't have a Schultz handling this film. And I really felt their presence throughout. And in my opinion, they did a great job at keeping his work alive and great. And one last thing I gotta applaud the writers of this film for is that they did not modernize the Peanuts. I mean, if it was up to a studio, they would have like gave Charlie Brown like a cell phone or give Lucy an iPad or have Peppermint Patty jamming out to her iPod, like put a lot of product placement in the film. I'm so glad that they did not put this in a modern setting. They kept it very traditional and very timeless. If they set it in like the early 2000s, it wouldn't have that timeless feel that the Peanuts should always have. And finally, the characters. They're all still as great and likable as I remember them, and I love the fact that their personalities have not changed. They're all still the same characters as they were 20 years ago as they are now. And I was actually surprised that a lot of the side characters that don't really do much in the TV specials actually got to be on center stage for some of these scenes. Like Franklin gets a lot of scenes in this film and usually he's just pushed to the wayside. Pigpen gets his time to shine. Those two girls, one of them named Patty, I forgot what her best, or Violet, Violet, they actually gets a few scenes here and there. They rarely got any scenes in the TV special. I liked that the side characters were able to shine as much as the main characters. But of course we can't talk about the Peanuts movie without mentioning the good man himself, Charlie Brown. I still really, really love this character. In fact, I probably love him more now than I ever did as you really get to see his character shine in this film and understand why everyone calls him a good man. If there's one complaint I have about the television specials is that although they always say how good of a man Charlie Brown is, they never really showed you why people think he's such a good man. In this film, it's on full display. You see how kind, how caring, and how loving this character is even though he's a constant screw up. He's such a great character that you can't help but root for him to get the girl by the very end. You're just cheering for him to make it through and then he constantly screws up. You're like, no, Charlie Brown, oh, you were so close! And also, one last thing I gotta commend this film for is the great voice acting by the young actors and actresses. They really did a good job at bringing the Peanuts to life. And I was very surprised at how some of their voices were reminiscent to some of the original voices for the Peanuts. Like, they did a really good job at finding kids that sound like the original voices. Props to you, casting department. So it looks like this film was excellent, right? 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5 is just an epic masterpiece, right? No. Although I really, really like the film, it does suffer from quite a few problems. One of the film's biggest issues, and you might disagree with me on this, is that they gave way too much time and focus to Snoopy. Now don't get me wrong, I love Snoopy. Snoopy's a great character and he actually was the funniest character in the entire film. Like he would have this running gag where he'll go up to someone and be like, shh. And that is hilarious. Snoopy is a great and fun character when used properly in small doses, but they gave him way too much time and focus and they kind of put him in the foreground rather than keeping him as a side character. And I understand why they did it. Snoopy is the most iconic character in the Peanuts franchise and he's also the cute sidekick character and as we all know from Frozen and Ice Age, cute adorable characters are kind of the ones that people remember the most. So let's give him all the best scenes in the film. But the problem with this is that because they give Snoopy so much to do in the film, it detracts from what I felt like was the true essence of the Peanuts. 
which is the interactions among the kids. They're the ones that need to be center stage, not Snoopy. Snoopy is the fun side character to cut to now and again when you need a break from the kids, not to be at the center of attention. As mentioned before, while I did like and appreciate the cinematic feel to the story, there were some parts to it that did irk me because it went against tradition. One of them being the constant dogfight throughout the entire movie. I mean, yeah, sure, they look cool, they're nice little set pieces, but they just kind of detract from the story and just felt way too large in scale for a Peanuts story. But overall, besides its few problems, I still really, really enjoyed watching the Peanuts movie. It's a film that kids and adults will love. Kids will like its silliness, adults will like it for the nostalgic factor, and it's just a really fun time. It's a true treat, and I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. It is definitely worth watching, Go check it out. I'm planning to see it again because I had so much fun watching it. But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like and enjoy it as much as I did? Or did you find it way too boring and simplistic that you just couldn't get into it? And let me know what is your all-time favorite peanut special. Mine, as I said earlier, is Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. Can't get enough of it. I watch it all the time. Comment below, let me know. And stay tuned, I probably will react to Ruby Episode 2 if it comes out tomorrow on Rooster Teeth. I have another reaction video on Monday and a new anime review this Tuesday. So stay tuned for all of those. And if you would like to see more on this channel, be a part of the Black Critic Crew, please hit that subscribe button below. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And I'm telling you why in a second. The Black... What? The little red hair girl's coming? Oh crap! Hi! Hi! Oh, oh, oh. She's still here? She's... Well, anyway, I, I, I'm the Tony the Black Critter guy, and till then, uh, pe peace you. Whoa, whoa! Oh, good grief. Thank you.